Hey everybody, this is uh, Eric with uh, Alchemy with Zero Phase, and um, <clears throat> thought I would uh, actually show you what the uh, mobile version of the Stable Diffusion, inter Stable Diffusion interface looks like. Uh, I got a screen recorder here, uh, seems to work okay, so let me go through and show this to you. Um, it is dynamic, they, it does try to format itself to fit your phone screen, and it's pretty easy to use. I mean, you do end up doing a bit of scrolling to get to the things you want. You know, you have your prompt, negative prompt, obviously. Um, you have your styles here uh, that you can go through. Um, the nice thing about that is if you have a lot of styles, uh, just remember, you can always type in things and it'll uh, narrow it down to what you're looking for. Uh, they, when they implemented that, that was like such a, an amazing thing. <laughs> you have to sit there and scroll through everything. And then all your standard stuff, sampling methods, sizes, and everything. So uh, pretty easy to use on a phone when it's in this interface. Um, the, you have the accordion uh, menus here that you can go in and uh, do things with. And I try to keep them minimized. kind of reduces the amount of clutter and all the other standard options down here. And then all your tabs at the top allowing you to go through and uh, do all those too. So uh, it is interesting. Some things work better than others in this uh, aspect of the mobile interface. Um, I a little while ago they did there was some sort of an update I don't know what exactly and the in painting um, though you can get the image in there it doesn't allow you to scroll around so it, it's it's a little weird let me grab an image and at least see if I have one here actually let's go to I think I got some in favorites here if it'll Pull it up here. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Totally forgot. Let me uh, pause this. I rebooted my other computer, so I got to bring Stable Diffusion up. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Forgot I had rebooted the system, so I had to bring it back up and going. So uh, let's go in here. I, I wiped out my uh, my text image directory. It was just getting too cluttered. I think I did with the image to image as well. So we're going to go to favorites. Uh, I should have some things in there that we can, we can grab out of there. So um, let's... Just something we can, I, I was working on in painting. Uh, so let's grab that one there. And we're going to send that one over to the in painting. And I'll just show you what this little issue is. <clears throat> so on the mobile, when you're in the dynamic interface like that, see it kind of cuts the image off. It's trying to show you the image as big as it can. So you can do some decent in painting on it. But the one thing that broke on it, so you can grab the corner down here. Let's see if I can do it here. It's a little finicky. Come on. Oh my goodness. Sometimes you can get it, sometimes you can't. Come on. Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> anyway, so you're supposed to be able to grab it and So it gives you this bar down at the bottom. But the, the problem is this, or this blank area. So you can grab it without drawing on the interface. Uh, the problem is it doesn't work anymore, so you can't scroll over to the rest of the image, which kind of broke the whole in painting on mobile, at least in this interface. Um, you can switch over to desktop mode, which gives you the whole interface, but as you can see, it's very small, and you can pinch to zoom, which is fine and all, you know, um, but it does give you access if you're in a, you know, if you're hurting and absolutely have to do some in painting, you can actually uh, come over here and it'll load the entire image into the interface at least to a point so we can actually if we can grab that I mean, again it's super tiny I don't know why they make this so hard to grip anyway I'm not going to go into that so as you can see it, 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 using the mobile interface may be a little limited, limited on some things <clears throat> but it does uh, make it nice being able to render wherever you want and doing most functions uh, wherever you want. So you can be uh, vetting out your ideas and uh, trying things out, upscaling stuff, that kind of thing. So uh, have fun with it. Play around with it. If you were able to get your, you know, the last tutorial I did where I uh, showed you how or walked you through, talked you through how to set up your uh uh, stable diffusion so you can remote access it whether it's on your local network or setting up your router with port forwarding this is basically what you get so i can be anywhere and be rendering stuff so anyway talk to you later